I grew up riding trails in Michigan. And to this day, I still love a good old fashioned trail day of going as fast as I can and burning a tank of gas. And I also like going up the steepest ravines and the gnarliest side hills, whatever it is. If it's snowmobiling, I like to share it, promote it, and get other people going on it. So I'm a, a backcountry ambassador for Skidoo Snowmobiles. The way I view my role is to show fun. And the sport of snowmobiling is about fun and going out and having a good time. It's not about attitudes. It's not about how good you are. I just like to spread the fun of it. And I spend a lot of time riding super gnarly terrain for sure, but I also take everyday people out and try and teach them how to ride so they can come ride with me someday in the gnarly terrain and just enjoy the sport as a whole. When I was three years old, my dad put me on a snowmobile. So the love started super early. I grew up going out riding with him all the time. He would sit me in squirrel, and we'd go cruise through the woods in northern Michigan. It was super fun, super rad. That was implanted in me at a very, very young age. Just snow, backcountry, exploration. I was 18 when I finally graduated high school and thought about what I really wanted to do. College was not the right step for me. I said, I'm gonna go west, Dad. And he's like, all right. And at the time I was super into snowboarding and snowmobiling, but at that time snowboarding was huge and moved straight to Vail, Colorado. And for the first few years, I didn't touch a snowmobile, which was really odd. Like I moved to Colorado with a snowmobile background and we were into snowmobiles for using them for backcountry. But I'll never forget the day my buddy Ryan bought, it was a 2003 and a half Skidoo Rev. And I'll never forget he rolled up on that thing, standing up, making power turns. That's kind of when my snowboarding ended, to be honest. I still love it, it's a great sport. I try to get out a few times a year, but that was a pivotal moment in my snowmobile career for sure. You know, it stemmed from my childhood and it was such a, ingrained passion when I was a kid that it just came back naturally. Like, I remember being at work on, dude, I just want to go snowmobile. So I used to have a full general contracting business where we worked year round and I said, I can't do this anymore. I want my winners off. So now I own a framing business. We work seven months out of the year. I focused on someone building the other five. I made it my drive. I was like, I want to be a super, super good snowmobiler. And I worked really, really hard at it. I'd go out as much as possible and just practice. And then back then it was like, cool, you can make power turns in a meadow. And then I progressed to, I'm going to sidle up this open slope. And then I'm going to go see if I can point it through these trees. And next thing you know, I want to switch back. And then I'm going to do a hop over. And it's the, the progression of snowmobiling is what led to where I'm at and why I love it so much. And it's the never really ends, right? I think it's year six. I was a guide at a ranch. And then one year we had American Snowmobile Magazine come out and they had a really, really good time. And kind of threw my name out there to some people. And then another person that really helped out was Mike Duffy of Avalanche One. He just said, hey, Skidoo is looking for a backcountry ambassador for Colorado. So I reached out to Skidoo and just sent him some video clips and my life resume and just said, hey, this is me, check me out. And they responded, they were cool, and they're like, good luck. And I also didn't hear from him for probably close to seven or eight months. So that was in like February, and then I heard from them maybe in October. And they uh, said, hey, we'd like to chat some more. 
them and ended up sending me a contract. Yeah, it was a big deal. I was in Canada with my dad and drinking a beer. Really, really cool. Simply just being out in the woods, whether with my friends or by myself, is what draws me to go on snowboarding. That moment of, can I do this? Can I get up this draw? Can I go to this place? Can I see a new zone? These are places that you cannot snowshoe to. I love the journey of saying, all right, it's my goal this season to ride to this spot. You get out there and say, wow, that peak looks beautiful. I bet the view is amazing. I'm gonna go there today. And the riding to get there is usually super challenging. That's part of the fun too, right? You're being pushed and you're riding new terrain. You don't know where you're going. And then when you make it to the top, it's probably one of the most rewarding feelings there is out there. I'm super excited about the future. I don't know if it's electric, if it's even more super efficient, two strokes, four strokes, it doesn't matter. It's gonna evolve so much. If you go 10 years back right now and think about what we were riding, how more uh, inefficient they were, they were harder to ride, you couldn't go the places we go now. You fast forward to today and it's like, what happened? It's amazing. You're floating on snow and air. It's a pretty special feeling to be on top of it on 165 horsepower machine and you just lean and you feel like you're floating through space. That's, that's it, that's why I do it. It's about having fun. That's what the sport is all about. And it starts when you're a little kid. It definitely puts the biggest smile on my face taking my daughter snowmobiling. She copies everything I do. If I move my foot this much off the running board, I'll look behind and she does the same thing. That's actually one of the most fun parts about snowmobiling for me right now is taking my daughter out and going riding because she's young and she's, she's getting it and she's understanding it. And it's so fun to watch the progression. Watch out world, she's gonna be good.